Hello everyone and welcome back to Clear Creek Solutions instructional videos and today we're going to go through how to create some basic shapes in AutoCAD Civil 3D. We download the free trial from Autodesk's website in the previous video so if you haven't seen that I suggest you go check that out to follow along with our lessons here but we're going to go through some basics on how to draw some basic shapes. Um, if you already taken any form of an AutoCAD class or have used AutoCAD at all this might be too basic for you but if you're getting an introduction here I think this one will be a good one. So let's open up a new project here. Let's not be too complicated. This is our modeling space. I have some defaults open here. I'm going to close out that properties window here. On the left is just the tool space. It has the prospector tab showing you all the different elements that are contained inside your project, uh, your different toolbox, your survey, and your settings here. But we're not gonna worry about that right now. On your main toolbar, the home toolbar, you can draw various shapes and you can also insert points on the insert tab. We'll get into points later uh, in a different video here. But on this home tab, you can view what kind of tool space is your scene. Uh, your parcels, your alignments, just a lot of your basic functions and overview is going to be here, your different layer properties. Right here is the draw tab where you can draw various different shapes. And you can see this kind of nine main options at the top here. This one is to create a line and you can do that in many, many different ways. Not all can be done from a project from scratch. A lot of these actually require some data already in the project for you to do that. But let's create a basic line, create line. You're gonna enter anywhere in your AutoCAD space, left click and then left click again. Um, there's quite a few options here. So I'm gonna click enter and now we have a, two, uh, a straight line, right? So there's a number of options here down uh, on the lower right, wh whether you want to lock to a grid or not. I don't have many snap modes uh, enabled here. I'm just drawing some basic shapes. Now, if you wanna remove this shape, just left click on it and click delete. Let's add the line again. So left click, left click, and then left click again. It gives you a length, it gives you the degrees. Um, that you're drawing the lines. This is 30, you know, 90, 180, and so forth there. And you can continue to draw by continuing to left click. So it doesn't have to be a two point line and then clicking enter if you want to finish drawing it. Now I'm going to left click and it gives you the different vertices of the three different points of that line. And you can then modify that from there or move it. I'm going to delete uh, all the shapes I just drew, right? So pretty simple for a two point line is also create line by point number range. You can do that one or create a line by different point objects, or you can do it by northing and easting. So you can uh, enter in a northing and easting value. Um, you can create line by grid northing and easting here, and then create lines based off that. So they have a variety of different ways if you're familiar with survey tactics. They also have create line by a bearing. So they give you a um, you know Cartesian grid here that you could then uh, create that off of distance and so forth. So you could do that as well. Like I said, if you're familiar with more survey methods, you can conduct it in that way. Um, you can do it by station and offset, deflection, angle. So a lot of options for creating lines. Now these are different polylines or three point lines. So you could then create an arc by drawing three different points and finishing off. And now we have an arc in our uh, project here. So that was pretty simple. Let me do that again. Three point line, left click, left click where you want the center of that arc to be, and then left click again and it gives you an angle while you're drawing that. And now we have an arced point here. We can modify it just like we did with the straight line, making it uh, an even greater or smaller arc or uh, move it or completely delete it altogether. You can do it with a start center end method there. We could do a start end angle. Uh, we, we have another uh, center start end over here. So just different ways in which you can begin to draw your three point line. And then here, we can then create uh, a connected polyline in using that feature there. I'm going to stop drawing and undo that. You can use Control Z to undo any of your drawings. This line lets you create a line or an arc or parabola based on data points already presented in the project. That's a little more complicated, so we're not gonna get into that one. But if you had a bunch of points or something and you wanna create a line that best fit those points that maybe was supposed to be straight or something like that, you could then create a line off that. This allows you to create a circle in a variety of different ways. We have center radius. So based off the radius, you could enter in a radius. So if you have a radius of 30 feet or something, you could then enter that in. If we go back to circle, center diameter, okay, um, a 65 foot diameter, for instance. And I'm just left clicking and dragging my mouse out to make it bigger or dragging it back in to make it smaller. Or you could enter in uh, a number to then create it. So if I have center diameter, Let's put in uh, 85 here. There we go, so my diameter is 85 uh, units, whatever the units are set to 
in this project, you also have three points. So you can do three points and create a circle based off of that. Or tan, tan radius, or tan, tan, uh, tan. So by finding the tangent of the circle. So those are those first five there. You can construct a rectangle, right? Pretty straightforward. Left click to create the first corner and then drag your mouse to whatever kind of rectangle you would like to construct. If you try it straight like that, it won't create a rectangle, but then there we go, we have a rectangle. I believe you can modify these points as well. And now we have some form of a polygon that we can uh, play with. So that's how to uh, draw those. You can also draw a polygon, which is a, a similar function. Enter the number of sides. Let's go with a six sided uh, polygon here. Enter option inscribed in a circle. So there we go, we got like a hexagon going on here with, uh, with a radius. So it gives you a couple different options. Uh, when drawing that out, we can create a curve between two lines. So if we did, let's maybe try and create a line here. And then let's create another line over here. And let's see if we're able to get this work. Create a curve between two lines. Select the second tangent and set so two endpoint tangents. They have to be intersectional. Okay, so let's delete this line here. Create a line. Let's create another line. They now intersect. Can we create a curve between these two lines? Um, we should be able to. So now we can select tangent, external, degree. Let's just make it uh, tangent. Uh, the tangent, tangent distance will be 20. There we go. So it's created like a, a curve there, like a horizontal or vertical curve uh, situation. You can also do that here with uh, this some sort of an oval shape here. So you can create uh, an oval instead of a straight circle, but it acts very similar to how you would draw uh, the circle out here, or it looks like an angled circle uh, actually. And then you could then hatch uh, a certain surface that you've created. So for example, here, let's try and create a rectangle. And then can we then hatch that surface here? Well, let's go back to home, hatch, hatch the surface. Pick internal point, ta-da, and now we have hatched our rectangle. So that's drawing some basic shapes in AutoCAD Civil 3D, and then we actually did hatch a surface there. So if you have any questions about that, leave it in a comment down below. We're going to continue the series here, so you're going to want to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Anyways, we will see you guys next time.